Hey, hi, welcome back to the series of functional safety sessions and cyber security sessions. I am Tota Krishna Hema, your automotive subject matter expert. So in this video, like we would like to deal about cyber security and safety system verification. So it's a blend, it's a combination of safety and cyber security together in verification strategies. When do we call cyber safe system? So let us imagine that we have done a perfect architecture, perfect code, perfect analysis, perfect engineering verification. So do we call the system as cyber safe? Of course not. Autonomous vehicles are complex connected systems. So it will have intra and interconnectivity with the other systems inside the car and outside the car as well. So with the emerge, emergent properties of this for which they require connectivity to other systems as well. So these connectivity interfaces plays major role for cyber threats. Cyber attacks systematically downgrades the strength of mechanisms and at the same time changing the probability of exposure and controllability of harm. So generally, when we apply the traditional security for security aspects, like it uh, in this particular cases, it will in fact worsen the ability of the system to defend itself. So auton automotive system can be termed as cyber safe if there is a valid and enduring confidence that the system will function as desired when expected. Cyber attacks against safety systems operate at a certain volume or a scale like which seek to trigger a safety reaction based on system complexity. So whenever you know when we simulate a cyber attack then we need to do it on a particular scale or a particular volume. So we may or may not assume um, that this particular the volume could be this much kind of. Uh, so that is that is one thing and generally the secondary functions are less analyzed than the primary functions. I will give you an example on the secondary functions and primary functions. The system will be unable to resist and will often be more, very vulnerable to second order infections. Here is an example scenario which you can which we can demonstrate. Uh, the primary functions and secondary functions. So let us take anti-lock braking system uh, so as a requirement in this one. So anti-lock braking system is a part of braking system and which can be termed as ACLD or any requirement under this category can be highly safety critical and can be termed as ACLD as a category of automotive safety integrity levels. So ABS will have individual wheel braking, acceleration and steering driven by sensors and there should be a proper coordination among sensors to get the effect of ABS. The control system for ABS is more complex than the function system of ABS. At 90 mph, say this is a scenario, at 90 mph emergency braking engages sensors and integrators into ABS for getting its effect. So at this particular time, uh, particular speed limit, so if the integrator or a sensor if, if it is faulty, if it gets faulty at that particular limit, then how will you act? So we need to apply the braking heavily and we need to control steering heavily to avoid identified obstacles. So it's like, you know, here the functional system of ABS is a primary and the control system is of ABS is a secondary system. Usually engineering verification concentrates more on primary system than secondary systems. So is normal engineering verification is enough so due to the inter and intra connectivity of connectivity to complex systems of the vehicle, the implementation of artificial intelligence and machine learning AI and ML changed the game entirely. So the with this uh, machine learning 
uh, attributes like the system will get more complex and it'll go into unpredictable scenarios engineering verification remains useful for bounded subsystems we need an additional design methods that can adapt in real time operations so this also will be detailed out in further slides so even though we achieve good connectivity and automation system becomes infinite complex we cannot estimate the behavior of the system machine learning contributions contributions cannot be predicted time to execute to the function the engineering verification tends to zero so framework for the design of cyber resilient operation so resilience is nothing but a uh resistant resistance if it is the system is system have a proper resistance towards the cyber threat so resilience is what like what do we do to secure at that particular residual risk or what do we do how do we make cyber safe system more strong or how do i get maths to support it it's like you know uh here you can see one thing is detection understanding act so uh, i thought of keeping analysis in place of understand but you know to get the representation proper it's like you know i kept the three different terminologies so detect understand act act so uh, once we detect the detect the particular you know abstract of particular thing we the system need to act accordingly to avoid the catastrophic failure so this will allow us to certain to certify a vehicle or a manufacturer based on the integration of functions so, so it's like you know resilience is is nothing but a probability of 90% that is d plus u detection plus understanding plus act should be less than t so t is a time to get into a catastrophic failure so our system should act much more ahead of ahead of this catastrophic failure occurrence uh, so here it is another representation so engineering design generally any system like you know we assume that it is bounded that means it has its own limits uh, we know it we we know the scenarios known scenarios predictable outcomes and all like you know engineering design will happen with respect to requirements so this is a general scenario but uh, in to make the safety and cyber security monitoring we do with the help of sensors and the actuators like you know to detect the hazard or threat in that particular system and the other thing we do is like we do a lot of real time simulation in order to identify the unknown unpredictable scenarios and here in this why do we do monitoring safety and cyber security monitoring and real time simulation is to you know by thinking the system is limitless it is unbounded kind of okay and during the vehicle operation so these monitoring uh, operations will, will lead us to learn more uh, detections and the simulation uh, will make the system to learn um, un identification of scenarios so this both will help uh, in uh, in understanding the vehicle to understand more scenarios and to learn more to get into more ml machine learning So with this I came to the end of the topic like if you like the concept like click on the like button if you want for the more automotive videos subscribe to my channel thank you so much for your time